sneak peek. This is Haley Denny here. I'm with Melissa Rosenberg, screenwriter of the new movie Twilight, as well as some other fabulous projects. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how you got into the screenwriting business, what the process is like for you. I actually began as a dancer or a wannabe dancer, choreographer, and I thought that that would, was what would become my career. And I realized I wasn't good enough to be with that. <laughs> So um, I came to Hollywood to uh, figuring dance as in dance and music and all the arts, and I thought the entertainment industry would be the place to uh, realize those ambitions and uh, discovered screenwriting. And uh, my very first job in the business, my first, the job that got me into the Writers Guild was a, to write a dance movie for Paramount. It didn't get made, but that was my end. So it goes to show you there's just no wasted experience, absolutely. So talk to me a little bit about the process of adapting a book into a screenplay. I know that you did a panel, uh, I think, earlier today on that, on that process. Was it difficult for you, or did you feel a certain pressure to adhere strictly to what was happening in the book? I wanted to adhere to what was happening in the book because I love the book. So uh, it was, for me, the adaption, adaptation process was about sort of con condensing and, and distilling. Uh, so uh, I, but it was very important to myself and the director and everyone else involved in the film that it, uh, that it realize the book as opposed to take the book as a jumping off place and just come up with our own stuff uh, because we knew we had fans uh, that we needed to to satisfy with the film and so uh, and and we just wanted to we were fans ourselves so uh it was a it's such rich material to work with you just you know use what you why, why would you need to right. come up with other things so going into this it must have been a daunting task or maybe maybe a little nerve-wracking knowing that it, the books have such a huge fan base. Was that a lot of pressure for you going into it or were you just raring, ready to go right off the bat? When the producers brought me Twilight, I didn't, I'd never heard of them before. So uh, I was introduced to it by them and I also, when I, so when I was writing it, I, I was aware of the fans and they told me there's these all these you know, fan sites online and I kind of avoided them because I sensed that it was bigger than I wanted to know about. <laughs> so I, uh, but after I finished and after, and when they, you know, when we went into production, that's when I began to realize, and thank God I didn't know because I would have been uh, completely overwhelmed. The, the thing I was very conscious of was wanting to satisfy Stephanie Meyer. Uh, she, her opinion mattered, uh, you know, immensely to me, and, and fortunately she approved. So <laughs> right. I was delighted. What is, what is the process for you? Do you tend to set aside a certain amount of time per day to dedicate to writing, or does it sort of just come to you uh, spur of the moment? I try to start as early as I can, and uh, which actually, by the time I finish messing around on, online, uh, ends up being about <laughs> <Amen>. 10, <laughs> ends up being about 10, you know, 10, 30, or 11, and then I just go straight through without a break until, you know, well, it depends on how, what the deadline is for the project, too. If it's, if for in the case of Twilight, it was, I had five weeks to write the script, which is just no time at all. So I canceled my entire life and I, I had, you know, seven days a week. It was, you know, getting up at six in the morning and writing till whenever. So it was a, that, that, those were some long hours. But uh, normally if I can write from, you know, 10.30 till five-ish, that's when I'm at my strength. That's when the caffeine can be kicking in. So the Austin Film Festival is known for its focus on screenwriters. How, how is that for you being able to come to this festival where sort of screenwriting is the focal point of the festival itself? I love that. I love that the screenwriting is the focus. It's interesting, I, I've had uh, people since I've been here, primarily younger women, asking me for autographs and such, and I said, y you know who I am? Because you know, <laughs> a screenwriter is not typically uh, in front of a picture as much, or not as, uh, in the forefront. Um, and it's uh, so tremendous that this festival focuses on the craft of screenwriting. I mean, without that, uh, you have no film. You can't make a good movie out of a bad screenplay. Exactly. Yeah. So since our show is called Sneak Peek, can you give us a little sneak peek about any projects you might be working on in the future? I can't. <laughs> I'm sworn to secrecy. Uh, no, I, I can't comment on them, actually. Oh. Well, uh, I guess that means we have some good things in store. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. Sneak Peekers, this is Melissa Rosenberg. Thank you.